welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Heidi Gilbert and in today's lesson we're going to look at a very simple break using double subdivision. I'll give you guys a little quick example of the pattern we're going to be learning and then we'll break it down slowly. So that last break that we do at the end of the groove, which just gives our music a break, which is why we call it a break, you can also call it a fill, is what we're going to be looking at. Now basically in this particular groove, and you can play it over many different grooves, so uh, example, rumba, uh, rumba catalana. So you can put it in that groove, in that groove as well, in a lot of different groups. So we're just going to be zooming in on the actual pattern of the break, and then you can choose where you want to apply it, with which groove you want to be applying it. Okay, so the first thing is, within this specific context, we're playing in eighth notes, right? So we've got four beats in a bar, okay? We're just going to use this as a case study. Four beats in a bar, and each beat is subdivided by two which means we're pay, playing eight notes or eight strokes, meaning we're playing eight strokes in one bar. And we'll be counting one and two and three and four and. So what we are doing with this break is that we're actually taking a part of that break and we're doubling up our subdivision. So instead of playing one and two and, we'll be playing one E and a two and three E and a four and. All right, so that's pretty simple. It's just, you're just doubling up your sub subdivision. It's very impressive when you can do it at speed, but we're gonna break this down really slowly. So we're just gonna be practicing this break like a technical exercise, which is something you'd wanna do with new things that you're learning. You kinda of wanna train your memory muscle. You wanna get the, the pattern into your brain and get your, your hands used to doing it and kind of starting at a really slow speed, building up your tempo until you're comfy with it, until it just comes automatically, like when I play it just now. Well, basically, yeah. So, right, so we're gonna be doing four strokes of 16th notes, then two strokes of eighth notes, right? Then four strokes of 16th notes, two strokes of eighth notes. And we'll just be looping that pattern. Don't worry too much about all the technical things I'm talking about. Just listen to it and you'll let your hands do it. Straight alternation of the hands. So there's no funny doubles or any funny uh, rudimental flams in this right now. It's just right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. And it's really going to sound like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And you want to actually accentuate your eighth notes, right? Because you're doubling up your strokes so you it's kind of automatic and natural that your volume can fall to half because you're playing double the amount of notes in the same time again this is like all theory and technical knowledge so let's just jump into it and you'll get the hang of it as we go right i'm going to show you the pattern really slowly and then we'll try it together so it's one knee and a two and three e Counted like this as well. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's try that together. One E and a two and three E and a four and
Right, it really helps if you practice this with a metronome to make sure that you're playing all your beats evenly and that you're staying in like a solid, consistent time, which is so important for you to, to internalize if you're gonna be playing beat or laying down like cajon for people to play over, okay? So normally I would suggest you do this with a metronome. We're just going through the basic pattern and then you should take this pattern and make it part of your daily practicing every day and then slowly start to apply it into your grooves. Let's try it a bit faster. Da 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 And as you can see, I'm accentuating those two eighth notes. Da, 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 da. It's almost like I'm doing a roll into those two accents. It just makes it a little bit more musical. It also makes it a bit easier. All right, let's try a bit faster. Da, 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 da. Let's try it a bit faster. Da 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 da. to that speed like at the start of this that's really good that means that you already have a bit of playing experience and memory muscle built up and what's important to remember is your strike like your striking technique the way that you're stroking like the highs is so important so if you don't know all of this like I go through this in depth in detail on my modern method for cajon which is like a step-by-step uh, online video course that takes you right from the beginning dealing with the heavy foundation of the cajon like where to place your strokes how to place your strokes like there are different techniques for the bass and for the highs so with the highs we're really using our wrists all right so if you were going to use your arms you're using a lot of extra energy that isn't necessary so do go and check out my modern method for cajon if you're struggling with this it's going to be perfect and I have a lot of practice along, very basic lessons. We really also look a lot at the single stroke, which is something that you're going to have to get like down so tight if you want to start playing these kind of fills. All right, now let's try to just, as a little example together, let's try to put this fill within a groove. Let's use a simple groove that hopefully you already know and that you've learned. Again, if you haven't learned this, I go through this groove in depth in my modern method for cajon. There's also some videos on YouTube about this pattern. So if you don't know this pattern, go learn it first and then come back and try this fill with it. We're going to use the rumba catalan and um, yeah, we'll be doing three bars of the, of, the, of the groove and then one bar of a break. And we'll just loop that as like a further expanded technical practice to get this break and this pattern into our playing and also to put it into context with how we would use it in actual groove playing. All right, so we're not gonna take it that fast. We're gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Two, two, three.
faster. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, four. One, two, three. One speed faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. One more speed faster. One, two, three, four. If you couldn't do it at that speed, stop with this video, add this pattern into your practicing routine, whether it's daily, every second day, every third day, again, consistent practicing, very, very important. It's like you have to see this as uh, kind of like a, a, an athlete, right, or a bodybuilder. You have to build in those muscle memories into your, into your wrists, into your hands. And so doing a, like practicing consistently, even if you practice like smaller sessions is much more important than like just trying to practice once every month or once every week. So do practice this consistently. And if you guys enjoyed this video lesson, of course, give it a little like, leave a little comment down below. What did you think of this? Do you find this useful? Is there any other things that you want me to teach you? I am getting very active again on YouTube. It has been a long period of silence but it's so good to be back and if you wanted to be in contact with me a little bit more personally go and sign up to my newsletter on my website which is called cajonbox.com i send out information and updates freebies lessons i'm doing a lot of workshops and shows and performances all over the world so do go and check that out i also write some articles and yeah basically newsletter which is going to help you on your journey with the cajon and with music and uh, oh yeah, of course, you've got to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will see you guys for the next lesson. Ciao.